I am the Reaper. Okay, well I was just gonna goof around, but I walked out of there and he told me all oh, the this isn't Stan's office, the numbers are different. So I don't know what's going on right now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna go through, we're gonna try the one last one possible thing. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? I mean, truly, truly deeply, madly oh, yeah. love, but eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I didn't. We're gonna go through the red door just to see what he does after that. Stanley end. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I have to go all the way across, right? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've got oh, off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I wonder if you can jump into one of the tops of the vans. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Oh, running God, and running and things running, around just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? The hell? Oh. Here. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> should I go away or should I? Should I wait and see what happens? Should I go or should I wait? Go? Just to piss him off? No, wait. Where are you going? Right. Where were we? Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! I guess you should have made the stairs so tall, buddy. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. <laughs> Can you jump? Oh, should I jump? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Uh, or should I go back to the room? Let's go back to the room and see what happens.
two ways to kill yourself in this game. Great. Ah, uh, get off that. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. Oh, I can't jump off of here? I was trying to jump off of here. Shit. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. Are you... You are going to stay here, aren't you? <laughs> You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? Alright, I'm tired of him. I'm jumping now. Worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. There are no hot chicks in here. I would not be happy in here. Staring at an Stand acid trip. Me. Go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Tired of your shit. No. No, no. What do you do? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Tired of your shit? Let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself <laughs> from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish... I still thought that was possible. Oh my god, let me out of this room! How many times do I gotta jump off there before I die? Yay! It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Huh. Alright, well I think that's pretty much all endings that I could possibly... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'll, well, wait. Let's go try the elevator again. Um, up in the boss's office since I'm already halfway through. Yet there was not a anyway. single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, wait. 
Where's the elevator? Through these doors, right? Yeah, the panda. Alright, I won't push any buttons this time, I'll just stay in here, even though it's gonna be boring. And the frickin' music's on again. Why is the music on again? Caitlin, save us. Save us! So the ending with the baby, if you watched the previous ones, the ending with the baby and the button, apparently if you stand there for an hour and push that button, you get a puppy. He adds a puppy to it, and you have to alternate between the puppy and the baby for like another three hours or whatever the reigning time is, and then uh, there's like a super secret ending. But I'm not going to stand there for a literal hour hitting that damn button. This seems longer than it did last time. Is it because I'm not hitting the button impatiently? I'm being... I'm being patient. <laughs> Just does the music forever and until you press the button again. Is that the narrator dumbing along with this thing? Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god! I wish there was a button to kill yourself. No! I can't hit the button. I must hit the button. Ugh. between Poland and Austria, it has not been a very good time. Way back in the day, it was a little little bit of fighting here and there. A lot of bit of fighting. Recommendations from the Oversight Committee. Okay, I'm done. I tried. It won't... It like... Oh! I hit two buttons. This whole video is gonna be like us in the elevator just chilling out. Probably is all it does. I broke it. Overloaded it. Here's the door. Just go. I've <laughs> <laughs> been playing it, playing it so long, he just leaves the door open. Apparently there is no way to get out of there. He Stanley says walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. He said there's... He, 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 when you start the countdown, he says there's no code, the but I, you, you, know, you don't want to believe him. Television screens. 
What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley it's thought to Pornhub. Did he have the strength to find out? It's like paradise. Five hundred televisions worth of porn. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. What's wrong with that? Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. <laughs> and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom... I would try to watch that many televisions worth. Yeah, I'd try. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's Is control a seizure yet? all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He I'm refusing. couldn't accept it. His he own can't. life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was no. it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Probably. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. What about horny? Eating, Why is there a button working, for horny? All of it monitored and commanded from this. This seems a little place. racist. And as to the me. cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle. <laughs> Broke it. Nanny. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? A rising chill of hunger pains. I need lunch. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Oh no, I think he first got them all. Co workers gone. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. <laughs> For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go. I'm not happy. There's do. no chicks and or there's no happy. horny buttons. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And you're right. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Liberation is and fat Stanley stacks of $100 bills piled up. I could use a few of those. What about you? Alright, that is the Stanley Parabolable. Peace! Hide us from the face of him that sit on the throne, for the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand?